Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4, the new order at South Africa. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we are winning handedly, I would say, uh, in our war down here in South Africa. So how many men do you guys have? You have one of five divisions left. You have 8 to 13. Your biggest threat, but I'm pretty sure I just outnumber... Yeah, I just outnumber all of these guys put together. Um... And I've been getting some pretty decent in circles, I, uh, I do say so myself. Send these troops in. Like, how close are any of you to pitch lane? You're somewhat close. If we walk up to Luanda, we might be able to get the capitulation. So that's what you're going to do right now. Uh, the Marines had the SS and board commandos, the Air Force, uh, the Lawafa. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, that color of surprise that the American would pose a potentially disastrous idea. Won't it kneel over? Uh, don't knock it over till you try. Yeah, we are absolutely destroying. Let's send this truck up a little bit. Where are you going to? You're walking over there. I mean, these are all still the untrained militias. And I cannot change the, uh... The layout, unfortunately. Or the type of troops they are. Send you up. Send you this way. I mean, the truck... Could probably also get some good victory points done. Because we only can get them down to 35%, not to like the traditional 20. Uh, we don't have any manpower though. 20,000 manpower. 5,000 manpower, thank you. Just in uh, the nick of time. Okay, go kill these guys. So, like, you know, Republic of Poland. You're all just fighting each other, huh? So how's the uh, English thing of war going? We've got Free England against the King of England. Looks to be about even at the moment. But hopefully, you know, our stunning victory in the south here will uh, galvanize them to do better. So I guess we're just going to get these guys to do a big, you know, drive to all the victory points. The classic uh, of Hearth of Iron. Especially when these guys don't have enough troops to definitely, like, stop that kind of, uh, maneuvering. The Ghost of the Jungle. Advance Australia Fair. So the Australians have shown up now, which is nice. Um, can I just, like, join the OFN? That'd be nice. Fund everybody who can. Mass propaganda. I mean, the thing is... So North Africa has capitulated. Um, which works well for us, I would say. Draw this line up to here. All of you are on this. So we'll spend the time killing the rest of you. Is that... These are your troops, right? I believe so. And if you only have... How many men do you have? Because those are like... You have 6 to 16. There are 5 already trapped here. I honestly think this might just be the last episode just because we're going to win the war. Deploy every single plane you have. We don't have the manpower to deploy these planes. Um, disappointing, for sure. Is there anything I can do about that? Current public attitude's at zero. I don't know if zero is good or zero is bad. Doesn't really say. The Bob Hope USO Christmas show. Basically, if you haven't gotten it yet, it's like one big, um... Vietnam. Not, not parody, but 
homage, maybe you could say? That's kind of the idea that this is basically uh, this universe's version of the uh, Vietnam War. So where's my truck? This truck's going to go straight to Leopoldsville, to Brazzaville. All of these major cities, please. And we're about to get our bonuses, like, now. But I still don't have the manpower. Stop with the... Stop with all this. By the way, the fact that I'm... I've been able to beat them this well without even getting the Shadow of the Shield is pretty good. Let's also get some American military training. I mean, they have a handful more men. But not that many more. Do I have another vehicle with these guys? The answer is, like, not really. We're just going to have you capture some of these other cities. Because right now, you are at 66. There's been an uprising. I assume these are against the people of Africa Shield. I'm hoping. Guess we're going to go this way. You go here to get this around. I mean, how many men have I lost? 79,000? I mean, for the fact that we're fighting about 500 different countries at the same time, I don't think that's that bad. Still don't have... You know, increase our policing forces again. The Leopoldville, another dagger. We got more trucks. Send you to Orange. But the war is close to being over. I think Germany has now um, unified. But these two guys will now be defeated. You're not- are you getting volunteers? No. It's not that I can tell. We're also gonna get, like, surrounded on, like, six more of their divisions. Which, again, remember, they don't actually have that many troops. They actually have basically zero. Go to Libreville. You go to this city because you're already basically close to it. Roman has won the German Civil War. I- that might mean they send troops down here. I don't know. We shall see, though. Democracy has returned to Italy. Good for you, Italy. I mean, democracy... I'm assuming this probably just doesn't work properly, because as far as I can tell, it looks like this guy... Still definitely in control. Okay, we have air superiority everywhere now. Go to their current capital. Guys, go here. You go to this city. Just keep on going. Is there any other major cities? The Doma. Which is where you're already heading towards. Yeah, so you come over here. Maybe try to fix your supply lines up slightly. I don't need diamonds, though. Like, does diamonds do anything for us anymore? I don't believe so. So let's do some mass propaganda. We can increase police forces again. That really doesn't seem like that's actually having any negative uh, effect. Yeah, but at war, people are a little bit upset with uh, the way things are going at the moment. But East Africa, which is you, are pretty close to um falling apart, I would say. Gonna do something like this, then you come through, up, and then come from the north. They will not, they'll never expect that one. They're taking another one of their major cities. Like, how long is it gonna take for you to get there? It's gonna take you 10 days ish. You guys go here. I do think definitely at this point, like, the war is won. 
Like, there's no way we lose at this point. Like, that's... Basically, it would be impossible. Right now, it's just us trying to claim victory points. As many as we can get. Until they realize that they've lost. So you have 7 to 17. I mean, they have somehow gotten significantly more men. I don't know from where. Yeah, we have still have resistance occupation on all these territories. Unfortunately. I think right now we're going to have to do something like cut these guys off in half. Get another like smaller encirclement going. And I think for you, we need to shrink our front line down a little bit here. You're retreating this way. So go to the city. Cross your way here. We got dockyards. Build more convoys. That seems fine for us. Then build more rifles, because I think that's still typically what we probably need the most of. Do not stand. If you're, you, no one's allowed to stand. You have to be moving forward. Soon this will uh, be encircled, which is what we want to see. So now we can kind of come in here. Crush these smaller, weaker units. Yeah, and you do something like this. So Libreville conquered. It did take back uh, Brazzaville. But you are so 43%. Like, you are close. Like, all we really do need is a, um, take Dodma. And, like, that should be the end of you. And at some point, they'll realize that. Might need more men back here, though. Yeah, you stay here. Might makes right. Like, America. Like, we, we're winning the war. There's there's no doubt about that. Do I need any equipment right now? Yes, I need rifles. America, I would like to purchase some rifles. But as long as we can get, like, one of these guys to capitulate... situation becomes significantly easier. As yes, we have gone this around here. At that point, these guys will kind of redeploy elsewhere. We're gonna have some more divisions deployed to the north. I mean, we do have this area here. We can kind of come up the river. Or not the river, the, the lake. Women in the military, give me... I, I cannot do that. I need to beat back the invaders. Because how dare they? I mean, most of their men have to be dead at this point. They come over here. They are being a little bit annoying. I will give them that. Send troops up north. Like, nobody should even be here anymore, but... If you're gonna hang out, you might as well try to crush this as fast as humanly possible. Brought your line like this. We still have Libreville. We still have, like, uh, Leopoldsville, which is, like, their, uh... Major city. And we have this truck. And definitely get some good work done in the back here. We're definitely going to send him over. And once you are gone, three days? It's going to take actually forever to get there. 
Like, you're so close. 38%. Like, there's no way they can support a, uh... Once you're dead, like, there's no way this guy can support... ...all of the invading we're gonna be doing. Like, all of our troops. That's just not physically possible. Now that we've cleaned up that other pocket... ...hopefully this truck can make some good work. Well, you've captured a port, so you're almost at Dodoma. You just need to take it. Okay, I thought that was doing something, but it did not. You're going to go up to the city. Like, you're so close. What happened in Hamlet 773? Horrible. A sad day for everybody. The Doma. In 19 hours? Okay, they've capitulated. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Means you're going to be the last country left. And that should have mean I've probably got a decent amount of supplies out of that. I'm hoping. I did lose Lieberville. Uh, so you're going to advance. This truck... We don't need to go into this territory anymore. We just need to capitulate this last guy. Go to Stanleyville, go to Buta, go here. That major city, and then make your way down and around. I think that makes a decent amount of sense. And honestly, I think you can just be very aggressive right now. Clean up these smaller pockets. Sada Crisis, which I believe is like uh, Japan's. Yeah, their stock market has crashed. That is okay. Nothing that we have to say that we uh, really worried about. We're gonna beat back the invaders. Service by requirement. Let's just do all train training because we don't really need it. Like we're so close to winning right now. I I think probably by the end of this episode. We, we should have a one. I don't know what happens once we actually win the war. It probably just might be the end of the... Uh, the focus tree would be my guess. So you're now going to go to here. As fast as humanly possible. So we still have air support over here. I would like to send more planes, obviously. So our entire air force. Make your way to this place. Go over to Central Africa. Provide as much air support as you possibly can. And they have to know. They, their, their time is up. The war is won. A bold new future awaits. Oh, but I get a... Okay, these are all underneath my uh, jurisdiction now. Wait, is that under mine or is under the Americans? Under the United States, they did jack shit. I mean, they actually did support me with like military weapons and stuff. The war is one is truly mark of modern precedent of warfare to bear witness to the battle. I mean, actually, the war only lasted like half a year. It is truly mark of the modern precedent of warfare to bear witness to the battle, which uh, stressed fiercely into the night. Just hours ago, the march of infantrymen was coupled by the gasp and sputters of tanks treading across the African bush, treading through the mud, the grass as well as any pair of legs of treads could do. Finally, as the men approached the compound, the sick, uh, sickening relief was drawn upon them. This was it. The war would be over after tonight. With nary a soul with strength to care about how many would have to die in order to destroy the right commissats. For once in all, hours after into the artillery strikes, however, the true face of butchery would align the soldiers rushed uh, beyond, setting aside to meet the strength of the Africans and the American. The gunfire lasted for hours, with some men beginning to bleed strictly from their destroyed eardrum, rifles, machine guns, anti-tank rifles, anti-aircraft uh, replacements, artillery barrages, tank shells, and even flamethrower units had been used to destroy as much as possible and fight to the bitter end. Trenches did, uh, hardly did a uh, man good as the dirt and gore and limbs were ca catapulted into the sky by nearby explosions. While men shouted, trying to gain advantage over the battle, all manner of soldiers descended into the final battle. As Africans and Americans, both black and white, met Weimar, Sulschwitz, and mercenaries in the last stand, though only leaving bones behind in the aftermath of gunfire and decimation. However, eventually the German broke after a frigid uh, African night. And upon them, it is the only way that the compound remains vulnerable. However, the last 
uh, delight, the scents. Upon the world of sin, as too does the rising sun bathe in the men of war. No longer is Africa a continent plagued by the German plague. Maybe a bit awkward uh, wording there. Finally, victory has been achieved with no right commissar to say otherwise, and everyone uh, enchanted. Thoughts of the future. And yeah, that is the end of the focus tree. Put our troops not on that border, please, but just on this border. I mean, we're actually in the same faction. The end of the South African War. The most controversial and significant international conflict since the Second World War. The South African War has now seemingly come to an end with the total collapse of the German regimes in Africa. It is a collapse which can only be described as utter chaos with thousands of German soldiers surrounding on mass to OFN forces, native SS divisions entering open revolt, and several high-ranking officers being taken prisoner. What comes next are the former German territories made unclear with no definitive post-war uh, OFN policy having been made public. Whilst OFN commanders and policymakers celebrate the most significant decisive defeat of Nazi forces in history, uh, the Alliance now finds itself uh, occupying a vast and volatile territory with early reports suggesting that local German administrations have so far been largely kept in place. So we got a decent amount of territory. Uh, you guys are basically, I think, just led by... Uh, American generals. Germany, I have a feeling, probably doesn't like us too much. But, I think with that, it'll be a good time to essentially end the series. Because I don't believe there's really anything else left to do. We have won the war. And South Africa has founded its place in history. President Nixon has resigned. We got JFK. As soon as he won the war, he gave up his position of power. But yeah, I don't really believe... Oh yeah, there's little pop-ups at the end. I've completely forgot about those. We actually got a pop-up. Thank you for playing. Uh, the New Order Don't Serve uh, was a labor of love for the New Order team. We are so glad to finally be able to show off more of what we've been working on for the community. Without the your undying support, enthusiasm, and love, none of this would have been possible. We hope that you enjoy a look at South African War. We hope to enjoy the full mod when it releases even more. Is there, uh, the Warriors of the North? Yeah, we're not going to turn away fighting men. But I, I don't believe there's anything left to do. Like, you can't just fight wars or anything. So... Uh, yeah, this is going to be a good time for us to end this entire series. So thanks so much for watching. My name is Anthem. If you enjoyed, my thumbs up. If not, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.